I have this LG V10 that I bought in February of 2016. It increased my bill from about 290 to 313, I believe. And I guess I haven't really thought anything of it. It's very weird. But anyway, I got this in um, February and then the Galaxy S7 came out, which I believe the Galaxy S7 came out in March. Yeah, so according to my sources, March 11th, the Galaxy S7 came out. So that's when I put my SIM card from the LG V10 into my Galaxy S7. And just to prove to you guys, I do have both of them. Here's my Galaxy S7, here's my LG V10. Um, the strange thing is, the payment plan for the LG V10, which I planned on paying until it was paid off, is completely gone and void. Like. I made my first payment and then I guess I didn't pay attention to the bill. I can't keep track of my bill. So I guess I thought nothing of it. Um, however, looking back, it's like my payment went up and then it went down. Like I guess maybe I thought it went down because they always tell you the first payment will be higher, but it was just a payment plan. So I guess it shouldn't have mattered. So I don't know what happened. For some reason, putting my SIM card from the LG V10 into the Galaxy S7 that was basically paid for in full tricked AT&T into thinking that I returned this because I called them just a few minutes ago I said you know what's going on they said oh well you don't have a payment plan on that phone you know or on that line at all I said what happened they said oh you returned it on March 11th the day the Galaxy S7 came out which <laughs> it didn't happen I said uh how did I return it did I return it you know, in the store, did I mail it? Because, I mean, let's be honest, most people aren't going to want their bill to be raised if they can help it, but I'm an honest person. I said, I said, I could probably find this phone somewhere in my house. I don't think I returned it. And I said, yeah, it's in my drawer right now. She said, well, we have it marked as return, so if you find it, feel free to use it, feel free to do whatever with it. So I'm like, okay, so basically I found this weird glitch in their system where putting a SIM card from a payment plan phone into a paid off phone apparently freaks the system out. So I don't know, that's very weird. So basically the Galaxy S7 allowed me to get the LG V10 for free. <laughs> um, yeah, so this video really serves no purpose. I just wanted to share this. Maybe if anyone else has had the same experience, which I would... Hope not, or at t would be out a lot of money. Let me know in the comments section below. So very strange, and like I said, I did my due diligence. I contacted at t and they said I can keep it. But I almost feel like I shouldn't even put the SIM card back in this device because it could like wake up the installment plan or do something crazy. But if I recall correctly, I went on vacation in, in yeah April, and I used this, and it didn't do anything. Anyway guys, that's all I wanted to say about that. And I also have a smart projector review coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed for that. And until next time, bye.